I'm <clears throat> looking for some serving spoons. They're in the bin at the end. Well, how you doing? You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I really am okay. What's going on in that head of yours? You're off the hook. What? You're off the hook. I've never really put much faith in all that if you love someone, set them free crap, as evidenced by everything I've done in my life up to this very moment. But I am determined to be happy, Joy. Happy in this life. And I love you. I mean, I always, I have always, always loved you. But our timing has just never been right. And the way I figure it, time is no man's friend. So I have to get right with that and be happy now. Because this is it. I mean, this is all that we get. This is one thing I've learned from losing Jen. That's what I've learned. Peace. Actually, I... um, hold on. I'm not done that. Because I also want for you to be happy. It's really important for me that you be happy. So I want you to be with someone, whether it be Dawson or a New York guy or some man that you haven't even met yet. But I want you to be with someone who can be a part of the life that you want for yourself. I want you to be with someone who makes you feel like I feel when I'm with you. So, I guess the point of this long run on sentence that's been the last 10 years of our lives is just that the simple act of being in love with you is enough for me. So you're off the hook. You know what, for the record, I... I don't want to be let off the hook. Because everything in my life that I've done has led me here right now. And the last thing I want, need, or deserve is to be let off somebody's hook. Please don't miss my point here. I and just don't miss don't mine. Macy, I love you. You know that. But it's very real. It's so real that it's kept me moving, mostly running from it, never ready for it. And, and I love Dawson. He's my soulmate. He's tied to my childhood. And it's a love that is pure and eternally innocent. I can't be let off the hook because I might just get the notion that it's okay to keep running. So then, what exactly are you saying here? Oh, Pacey, there you are. Um, we need plates. You are so sweet to open up your place like this. I love you both. Okay. Uh, I think you were... Maybe just about to say something really important. Pacey. I realize. Joey, give me a hand. Here, grab this tray. Here. How are you doing, Pacey? I'm good, Bess. I'm good, thanks. <laughs>